my name is Amit Zaveri. I'm the Vice President and General Manager for Business Application Platform at Google, uh, specifically on the Google Cloud area. It was a tough time and challenging time. Uh, Google kind of took a lot of leadership and invested heavily to help our customers as well as consumers and people around the world to, who are impacted by COVID. We did multiple things. Uh, one, we of course invested aggressively in terms of making it easy for people to work from home. So if you look at what we've done with uh, Google Meet and our collaboration software, we are now supporting millions and millions of users per day to be able to do video conferencing and collaborate and work remotely without losing productivity. Uh, we've increased uh, the amount of services we provide for free. Second, we've been also working very hard to make sure our software and our services remain uh, resilient and reliable and making sure that customers who depend on Google services, Google Cloud services specifically, are able to operate the business, especially the digital platform they run on, uh, they run today to support their customers and customers. So the business continuity and cost savings has become a primary thing for us, uh, for our customers. Yeah, I think there are many things which uh, I, uh, which enterprises and companies can benefit by building on top of no code. One, they get the agility and ability to kind of use a lot of the resources who have a lot of good understanding of the business needs and they can take advantage of their experience and their requirements by being able to deliver on it very quickly and easily without having to wait for long term projects or somebody else to build it out for them. So you're now able to unlock a lot of uh, un kind of expertise inside the enterprise, inside the company, inside the department to deliver on a very critical business needs people have. Second is the cost savings as well, uh, where again, the projects can be delivered in a much faster way, uh, as well as you're able to kind of be more efficient. So you're reducing the amount of costs associated by building out things over many, many months, many years, here you can deliver things faster by saving a lot of money as well. Third is around competitive advantage where you're able to free up resources from IT to go and focus on maybe a little more critical or things which have been backlogged or projects which are a little more long-term while, we, while uh, analysts as well as uh, business users can go and build applications quickly and easily using no-code tools as well. Yeah, I think the IT has been struggling to keep up with the demand by a lot of the business and business analysts uh, globally uh, in most of the companies today, uh, where they have so much more things to do versus what resources they have. So the big advantage for them is to find a partner inside a business who can now go and build uh, applications and be able to deliver service kind of new needs very quickly and easily without having to go and increase the investment in IT. So that's one quick benefit for IT. Second, I think uh, for IT where they can don't have enough expertise in many cases around all the key business needs or the business requirements. Here we can have now that partnership happen between business and IT in a much easier way using some of this tooling. So they get a lot of advantage by having that support as well as a partnership with uh, with the business users as well as the business analyst and line of business teams um, and not have to wait for days and months and years to get some of the things uh, delivered uh, today the way it is. So they get a lot of those values through this no code tools and they can be in the middle of a lot of these things versus people happening, having like a shadow IT or a rogue IT happening on the side. They could be part of the process as well. I think the functionality and the things they should be looking for is specifically making sure that the technology and the platform, one, it's open, uh, where it supports a multi full broad ecosystem. It's not a lock into a particular uh, vendor or particular technology so that there's a flexibility as well as choice available when you use it. Uh, I think second thing to look at is the, how easy it is to use and really how capable those uh, platform capable, uh, services are. So as, as a user, especially if you're going and targeting line of business users, they don't have to go and learn a lot of this technology. It shouldn't be that complicated. It should be simple, straightforward, and you don't need to become a semi-professional programmer to use it. So ease of use, simplicity, but also uh, the depth 
and the capabilities associated with that while you're getting the simplicity on top of it. So the platform, which is kind of deep enough, can do much more than just simple applications is important. And then also brings in a lot of the platform capabilities of security, governance, performance, high availability, scalability, so that you don't require a lot of handholding to make the systems work and applications to be delivered in a much more global as well as scalable and secure manner. So be able to find a platform provider and a technology in the no code side, which can do a lot of that stuff is an important thing to look for as you look for open uh, and standard based capabilities.